Well, we got a, uh, we rented a jib boom to do the final sealing of the windows. I haven't done that for, what, six months or more from uh, installing the windows. We're gonna do that today on this side of the building and then tomorrow on the back side. Uh, I'll move the, uh, it's a, a pulley, a, a towable jib boom. It's 50 foot extension, so we should be able to reach everything we need and uh, get the windows finally handled. Uh, I've been putting it off because I don't want to climb a ladder up and down and do it, so the jib boom is the answer. Um, oh, oh, this is shutting off. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. I'm gonna go check. So uh, I think it was a timeout on it. I, I turned it on a little bit ago and hadn't been on it yet. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get ready to do the windows up there. I'm gonna switch it over to time last because you guys seen me do the ceiling before. Uh, it's the same thing. It's just on a jib boom instead of climbing up and down a ladder. So I got every, all the tools on the platform. Should be ready to ready to go and uh, should be pretty straightforward. Anyway, switching to time lapse. And I'll catch you later. So here I am on the uh, the boom. Just uh, starting to get used to it. Um, it's fairly straightforward to use. Uh, the, the controls are pretty good. It's a, it's a JLG uh, C500. It's a 50 foot extension. Um, here you see me doing the uh, the upper windows. I don't want to do these on a ladder. It, it got really uh, it's, the, the ground is a little bit elevated. Uh, it's about maybe a two to four degree uh, angle. Uh, so putting the ladder on that and feeling comfortable at uh, 15, 20 feet is. Uh, not my cup of tea, so the boom was the best thing. Um, I called it a jib boom earlier, that's a mistake. It's not a jib boom, it's a real boom, it's a manlet. Um, here you see me doing the uh, the sealant and then uh, just using uh, so just soap and water uh, and my thumb to uh, level it out and make it nice and smooth. Uh, try to do the best job I can. You know, I'm not a pro with this by any means, but uh, the stuff is pretty easy to work with. Uh, the cool thing is it sticks to everything um, and it allows you to, to form it very nicely with just your uh, thumb fingers uh, with a little bit of soap and water so I learned that on uh, guess what YouTube uh, watching commercial installers do their thing um, the stuff works really well and it uh, does not sag by any means uh, apparently you can do one inch gaps with it uh, I might have mentioned that in my prior videos but the stuff is pretty incredible the bad part is it's uh, 12 to 14 dollars cube so you know you get what you pay for there but uh, the stuff's pretty cool So as I'm doing the ceiling, uh, Angie had a great idea by uh, removing the, the outside film on the windows. We still have uh, the protective film on the inside outside. Um, on the inside we're going to leave until we do, uh, of course, all the, the sheetrock and painting, etc. But on the outside, since we had the boom, uh, it was pretty pretty appropriate to start ripping this stuff off. So any window that I was near nearby, I started uh, ripping the outside uh, plastic off. And uh, boy, that sure makes a difference. The windows look fantastic. Uh, you can actually get more light in. Um, but anyway, it, uh, it was a good thing to do. Uh, we, we're going to do it on the rest of the windows on the outside since we're getting basically uh, um, an outside metal covering uh, our panel work uh, similar to the roof um, at a later time. We've got, still got to put two doors in and stuff like that to make that happen. And I still have to work on the deck of over the master before that happens. But here you see me doing the, uh, the other windows high, high up there. Uh, these were what, done about six months ago uh, around. And the uh, cell phone, the, the close cell, cell uh, foam was good enough to keep the, the water out. Um, and the sealant should do the uh, the final trick and make it uh, weatherproof uh, uh, totally. Anyway, it was uh, pretty straightforward. The boom's kind of fun to work on, I uh, have to admit that. It did shake a little bit here and there, but you know, it is. It's When you get higher, that's what happens. Uh, the extension, I had it uh, pegged at one point um, on the very right side windows. You'll see that in a little bit. Uh, full extension. It's not 50 feet outward, it's 50 feet upward. Um, so uh, I think uh, horizontally it'll do 34 or 35 feet out uh, from the base. So uh, I learned that the hard way, it just stopped moving. <laughs> but anyway, I got her done. So the cool thing about the boom, uh, uh, you know, you don't have to climb the ladder, go up and down and hold all the stuff. You got everything on the platform. Uh, so this actually took very little time. Um, I didn't rush at all, uh, taking my time. I'm trying to figure out, um, basically I put all the sealant on. I don't really let it sit. It might be better if I do uh, at least a few minutes and then go over it with my thumb to smoothen it out on the, uh, the frame. Um, but the whole idea is to make a kind of a concave uh, form of the sealant. That's the, re the required or the expected way to apply it. Not have a dome, but have a concave uh, seal. 
um, that hits the frame and the window, the aluminum window part, uh, appropriately so the contact uh, with the ceiling is good. So on these uh, windows, the uh, the one uh, right there, I'm sealing it and then I'm going to uh, rip the plastic off. Um, I probably use one tube per window, that's the rough, uh, rough amount. Uh, these windows here are 3x6. The big ones on the left were 4x6, so it, it takes a little bit different amount of sealant, but for the most part it was one tube-ish per window. Uh, once I did that, um, I sometimes started taking the film off before that. I did, uh, didn't mention that I cut the foam, if it was protruding through the frame, I cut the foam and cleaned the window off before I did the sealant. That was the, uh, the thing I was doing before uh, that you might not have been very clear. But in any case, uh, that's the first part to do, cut the foam out. Uh, so you have a, a very good solid area to put the sealant into. So finishing up the last window here, now you're going to see me take off the uh, film on the other windows, the bottom windows, and on the blue container. I'm also going to clean the window sill a little bit because uh, working on the containers, there's some residue from grinding, etc. that got on them, um, and it started uh, rusting a little bit, so I want to clean that off. Uh, you might see me using a brush there or whatever uh, at the bottom of the window um, once I take the film off. but. The windows look really good without the film. Uh, I have to admit, uh, I'm more impressed with them uh, all the time. They're they're a higher proficiency window as well, and uh, the film we don't need it because all we're going to do is put the, our paneling on that uh, side of the uh, all the walls on the outside. So everything's going to get pretty much covered, be consistent with uh, a metal building. Uh, the only thing I have to do on the, the master is actually build a deck. It kicks out about a foot over overhang, maybe, maybe less than that, maybe a foot, a half a foot or a foot. I haven't decided yet, but uh, that's coming uh, shortly, um, and uh, that's part of the next next build phase that I have to do um, right after I do all the uh, the finalization to the electrical and stuff. But anyway, here you see you see it uh, shaking a little bit, right? <laughs> it when it's full extension. This is actually it's max horizontal extension. It stopped moving after this, so I had to uh, reach out a little bit to grab the film there. But for the most part, uh, it's 35 feet uh, horizontal and 50 feet up. Um, is what this boom is supposed to do. So here's the one I uh, dreaded the most, uh, especially using a ladder. This is the, uh, the game room, and these windows were, they're, it's just funky looking because if you put a ladder from the ground to these containers, there's an open space, which is where the patio is going to be, and it, it just feels so weird on the ladder. Um, didn't want to do it at all, uh, didn't even try, uh, so the boom was fantastic to do this. And again, just rinse and repeat. Uh, and made very quick work of this actually. So two windows here, I already did the ones on the very left to see just the portions of it because uh, I can stand on the other containers, the, the master bedroom containers to do those. But uh, these ones are pretty high, these are the highest ones that we have uh, from the ground up. Um, if I'm to guess it's 15-16 feet from the bottom of the window so about 20 foot, whatever. Um, anyway, height's funny. So I'm making a quick work of it. Uh, basically, these these two windows, uh, pretty straightforward. The the boom was actually not even taxed at this point, but you see it you see it vibrate a little bit. You just gotta get used to that. Uh, it's not due to the wind. It's just for me moving on it um, and being extended out. Um, you'll see in a minute where it was positioned between the containers. Uh, so it's not 100% full extension, but it's it's pretty close um, ish um, on that. Anyway. Um, Continued sealing and uh, got the job done. So here I switched to uh, real time, uh, not not sped up by any means, and just to show you how this thing moves around, the controls are pretty straightforward. Um, I had to lift the boom up, the bus, bu uh, the basket over the red container you see in front of us, just to rotate this around so I could put it back in close position. Doesn't move the speediest, but uh, then again, it does the, it does the job. So you'll, you'll see in a minute. Uh, every time this thing beep, uh, whiskey, my dog would go absolutely crazy at it, and uh, he's in, he's in here with me as I'm taping this thing. He hears the beep in again, so he's going crazy. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure why he's doing that.
I basically folded it down so I could actually move it with the Bobcat to the new location which is behind the last windows in the, uh, the master bedroom. Uh, so it's, it's done, I snap everything together and then I uh, let the legs down and uh, drag it, you'll see me drag it here uh, with the Bobcat, not drag it, you know, roll it, um, and position it between the trees. That was kind of fun, uh, I had to uh, play a little bit here to get it through the trees. Um, just so I could raise it high enough so I could uh, do the, uh, the work on these last four windows. And here we are. Needless to say, I didn't want to cut any trees to make this happen, so these, uh, these oak trees right here, the elm that I just popped into, <laughs> um, it was perfectly positioned. You can't see me do very much work on the, uh, the right side windows. There's Whiskey. He, he was actually going, he's running around barking at the, uh, the, the boom. Uh, don't have any idea why the beacon gets so crazy. Here you see me uh, trying to level it out. Uh, it took a, a little while to do that. I uh, had to move in slower um, amounts to let the legs sit and auto level itself. So that was a little, little awkward here and there, but it eventually did uh, fairly quick and off I went to work. So uh, right above the uh, bobcat, just go straight up. Basically touch the tree. And uh, you can't even see what I'm doing, but uh, I'm taking all the foam off the windows and then start doing the ceiling. And I did the last, uh, the one on the outside first, then moved uh, to the left, uh, just so we can get a better camera uh, angle in a minute here. So I repositioned the camera, and then uh, I couldn't get the boom to start working again. Everything said it was level, um, and I just forced it to re-level a little bit. You can see it move there. That was its feet moving the thing up and down. We do a little bit more, and then magically started working again. So uh, whatever. Obviously, if you get off kilter, it doesn't want to let you go up high or out, uh, so it didn't fall over on itself. Good safety thing, but uh, I couldn't figure out why it was actually doing that when it said it was level. But anyway, regardless, made it work. You're gonna see me ripping the foam off on the windows, and then uh, start. I rip the tape off. Once I do the foam, I rip the, uh, the protective film off as well. Um, and here's this applying the ceiling here uh, let it sit for a minute and then I uh, speed it out with my hands my uh, thumb and stuff so so the one uh, funny aspect doing it uh, this is later in the afternoon um, I'm guessing it's around two o'clock or three or something like that uh, the sun was right in my eyes trying to do the upper section so I could almost not see what I'm doing in the, uh, the upper area. I had to put the hat on. Uh, earlier I didn't have the hat on but uh, the shade helped a little bit. Uh, got a Hankook hat in case you know what tires those are but uh, anyway that's for the race car stuff but uh, it made a big difference. You can probably see stuff and uh, you can see the sheen from the window when the film's gone. It, it looks fantastic. It's got a slight tint to it uh, for UV as well as uh, um, I guess uh, air conditioning and so forth uh, efficiency of the windows but uh, if we have issues here we're not going to put any blinds up uh, for privacy and stuff we might put an additional film on the inside of the window uh, don't know yet uh, we haven't discussed that too much but there's nobody behind us so you know privacy shouldn't be a, an issue <laughs> so uh, not a problem anyway finishing it up uh, this is all going to be uh, our panel back here so everything's going to look consistent um, and it's going to be, uh, can't wait to, to get that going. I'm already planning the uh, extensions over the master bedroom for the floor um, so we can continue that process in a little bit. Once that's done, then we can get the walls done on the outside. Uh, although I do have to do the front door and the side, the side door and then we'll be good to go. But anyway, it's moving along.
the yeah. boom up. Uh, so I'm doing it in real time again, just to see, uh, show you guys how it's doing. And I have to hitch it on the Bobcat. I have a, um, a hitch on the Bobcat arm. And I'm not sure why it's burning that much, but anyway. And there's just, she was on the other side of the boom. He's going to start barking pretty loud um, in the video, as well as he's behind me when I'm doing this video uh, as well. So he, he's going to probably bark um, any second now, as soon as I do the, the beeping on the, the boom. Anyway, I had to move the Bobcat a little bit just to, uh, to get the hitch to set up properly. It didn't move on me when I let it down. No big deal. Yeah, so I clicked the, uh, the hitch on. There we go. And then I turned the Bobcat off and then I uh, Legs up on the uh, boom itself, so we move it around and uh, we turn it back to the uh, rental place. So I've been using the well, United Rental uh, quite a bit. Um, they've been actually very good to me. So you know, price-wise, it's, it's expensive, uh, but you know, it's better than being uh, dead falling off the ladder. So not a problem. Okay, good. So we're uh, ready to roll. Now I'm going to use the uh, controls on the boom. And here we go. A lot of work is going to happen. Boy, we ski. There, I switched to uh, time lapse just uh, to show you how I had to maneuver this thing out of there. Of course, whiskey's helped me out the whole way. Um, the Bobcat's fantastic in doing this stuff because it's, it's such a short turn radius. I can move stuff around pretty good. Anyway, appreciate you watching. Talk at you later. Cheers.